all right, everybody? How's it going? Now, it's another day, and it's another Jeff Buys Cars video. Now, I know, I know, I seem to be making a lot of Jeff Buys Cars reaction videos, but uh, it's Jeff's fault. It's not my fault. He keeps making these videos, which I've got to react to. So, <laughs> I'm blaming you, Jeff, okay? Now, um, before I go on with this, uh, my opinion, okay, uh, if you can be, you know, in the comment section, don't be sort of nasty about Jeff. Say your opinion, but um, try and keep it nice, okay? Uh, and I'll try and keep this video nice as well. <laughs> well, as nice as I can, because I am going to be a little bit critical. I can't help it. I watched his video, and my opinions on that video uh, sort of counteract what his are, because there's a little bit of a conspiracy theory going on here, which I don't agree with. Um, now, if you do watch Jeff's videos, you will know that Jeff loves a conspiracy theory, right? It's one of his things. He does like a conspiracy theory. Um, I doubt he'll deny that. But this one's quite a big conspiracy theory. So, it's all to do with... Uh, sorry, I got an itchy face. I don't know why I got an itchy face. Um, uh, it's all to do with... Uh, this is the last itch I'm telling you. <laughs> Right, last scratch, I should say. Right, okay, so it's all to do with there was a fire two or three days ago in Bristol Airport. Now, the fire was in an open airport uh, car park somewhere, somewhere in the car park, somewhere. I don't know exactly where. And I think it was 11 cars that caught fire. And the fire brigade, brigade said that the uh, one car had some sort of ignition, uh, accidental ignition or something like that and um, it caught the other cars on fire right so like as usual when there's a fire in the in the media and we don't know what car it is all the anti EV people try to sort of speculate that it must be an EV because EVs are the only cars that catch fire it's not true mind is it because we know for a fact that if you look at my last video, fossil fuel cars are catching fire left, right and centre. They're catching fire all the time. You can't even walk down the street without seeing one catch fire. <laughs> Especially diesel Range Rovers. They catch fire quite a lot, apparently. Um, so, look, before I go any further, I do not know what car caught fire in the Bristol uh, airport. I do not know what car it is. I don't know if it's electric, I don't know if it's hybrid, I don't know if it's diesel, I don't know if it's petrol, I don't know if it's uh, hydrogen. <laughs> They're not very common, but there are a few around. Um, that would have gone boom, or wouldn't it? Uh, so, the story was, 11 cars caught fire, fire brigade came in, and they said they put the fire out quite quickly. Now, just by saying they put the fire out quite quickly, should sort of me say that... It, that's probably not an electric car, is it? Because we know that Jeff has told us, Jeff has said, if an electric car catches fire, you can't put it out. You can't put it out for days. So on that basis, maybe it's not an electric car on, on that sort of basis. But the reason I'm making this video is because Jeff said that the fire brigade have been told to cover up electric car fires. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? I, that can't be true, can it? Can that be true? That the government have told all... Now, remember now, right? The fire brigade is supposed to protect the public, right? Now, electric car fires, they're quite... They are quite... Once they get going, they, they once they get going... I mean, there's usually enough time for people to get out of a car because it sort of goes by, by cell, by cell, by cell, right? But... Once they get going, they are hard to put out, aren't they? So they could be considered... Ding well, they are considered dangerous. So would the fire brigade cover it up? So I thought, let me go and have a look and see if I can see any fire services admitting that they've had to put electric car fire out. Now, if they're covering up, I shouldn't be able to find anything at all, should I? So give me a minute and I'll get back to you. Right, okay then, so I found some evidence that fire brigades, I can't even say the word, <laughs> pr 
properly. I can't say it properly. Um, it's that weird D in the middle, isn't it? That's what it is. Uh, they have admitted that they've gone to, you know, put out electric car fires. Ooh. Now, Jeff has said... Now, I did ask him. I asked him in his, in his, uh, in his video. I said, do you think they're actually trying to cover it up? And he said, yes, they are. And then there was another uh, bit... Uh, in his video where somebody commented and said um, oh I work in Bristol Airport they said it was an EV and it was 11 cars right and that was it that was that was the whole I'll put it by there right that was the whole thing right now Jeff pinned her to the top of his comment section as if it was true but there was no uh, how is it true I could go on there and say I work in Bristol Airport I could say I was right next to the car and I saw it was an EV but you've got to have proof of no. You can't just make things up. So, <laughs> so he's deliberately sort of he's put that there. He probably knows that's not true, but he's pinned it to the top of the comment section, which is, to me, is it baffles my mind. Okay. Now he did bring in another guy. I think if somebody called Tony, and it seems like he's another anti EV basher who who enjoys bashing EVs, so he can get a rise out of people who got electric vehicles. That's weird as well, isn't it? That's a bit strange, isn't it? So there we go. Um, but look, if you if you work in the fire services, right? <laughs> I'm not a pretend person because I don't want any pretend people put in the comment section. Yes, I work in the fire services, and we're we're told we've got to cover it up. Okay, if you do work in the fire services, genuinely, and you watch this video, put in the comment section. Have the government told you not to say anything about electric vehicle fires? Because come on, that cannot be true, can it? It cannot be true. What do you think? You you tell me what you think about that sort of conspiracy theory. It's a little bit, it's a bit of a tinfoil hat sort of conspiracy theory, isn't it? Where they're being told to cover up electric car fires. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Look, look, right, let's let's go back to the um, Luton Airport uh, fire, where they they said it was a diesel car, right? Why hasn't the if it was an electric car, the owner could come forward and say it was an electric car, but nobody has, and it's the same with this um, Bristol Airport fire. The person whose car started the fire, they obviously know what car they drive, don't they? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what car I drive. <laughs> So, I had to make this video because the, the conspiracy theories are sort of snowballing. They're getting a bit too much now. Uh, this is it's sort of a, a bit of a momentum going where uh, all these myths, conspiracy theories, they're all, they're all getting traction. They're all, people are believing them. It's like, if you say you can make up any story which is bad about an EV and people who hate EVs would believe it and then they'd go and spread that comment that you made up to other people so it's just getting bizarre it is getting bizarre now if it does turn out that the fire services are covering up electric fires then i'll make another video i'll take my hat off and say yes it's true but i doubt it i mean come on it can't be can it it can't be and another thing jeff said was that this is what he said it's weird, he said, that they said the next day that the Luton car park a f uh, fire in the car park was said to be a diesel the next day. Uh, and that was 1,500 cars. But he said, with 11 cars in Bristol, they haven't they haven't said it's a diesel or electric or anything. They don't know what car it is. And it's a bit bit vague. But the underground, the Luton a Airport car park one... It had cameras everywhere, so they probably looked at the CCTV and found out what the car was off his red straight away. With this Bristol ones in an open air car park, so I don't know what the the camera. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was a camera there or if the cameras are further away, or they haven't looked at the, the footage yet. <laughs> you can't just say, "Oh, it's a bit suspicious." <laughs> It doesn't seem suspicious to me anyway. But anyway, that's my rant anyway. And like I said, right? Look, I'm not. I don't dislike Jeff. I do watch his videos, but he says some stuff that I disagree with. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just making a video disagreeing with what he said. Anyway, that's this video wrapped up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You, but there.
Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Ta-ra!